I built a stock trading bot and gave it $1,000 to invest. Here's how much money I made. I've always been a long-term buy and hold investor, but it seems like everyone nowadays is making big money off of technical analysis and automated trading. And I figured I know how to code, so I should at least give this style of investing a chance. So I'm going to try to use generative AI to beat the market. And no, I'm not just going to use ChatGPT and ask it to invest. I'll be building an algorithm that trades based on patterns in the stock chart. And I'll recognize these patterns using the latest tools in generative AI. Yeah, AI can read stock charts now. Sorry, Jim Cramer. At least that's my plan, but I've never seen anybody do this before, so I don't even know if it's possible. If I'm gonna have any hope, I need to use the most advanced AI model available today, Google's Gemini Pro Vision model. So you haven't heard of Gemini, well, allow me to explain. Gemini is the latest of Google's generative AI tools. These are tools like ChatGPT that can understand language, but not just spoken language, they can understand music, they can understand code. The latest models can even watch a video and tell you what it's about. I know. And as with any new technology, there's been a ton of hype around what these new models should be used for. Right now, the answer seems to be everything. Just give me some generative AI with a side of buzzword, please. But since newer is always better, right? I plan to use Gemini's ability to recognize images, to have it read stock charts and tell me if I should invest in the stock or not. And then I'll put $1,000 into whatever stocks it tells me to. This is a dumb idea. My first job is to see if an AI can even understand a stock chart. So to figure this out, we're going to go to Google's Maker Suite. So let's start out by just seeing if we can recognize an image. What does this image show? And let's run it. This image shows a bougainvillea plant. Bougainvillea. I'm gonna assume that that's correct because I'm not really totally up on my botany. Okay, let's go a little bit harder. Let's try to give it an actual picture of a stock chart. I just grabbed a screenshot of Apple stock price. We're gonna run this through. Okay, we got something. So it knows this image shows the stock price of Apple, but it went a little farther. It says the stock price has been increasing over the past year from 125 in January 2023 to 168 in October 2023. So it's not only telling that this is a stock chart, but it's grabbing the 125 from my little hover here, and it's getting the current price as well as the date. That's pretty crazy. Let's try something even one step farther. So I found this stock chart that has these grid lines on it. It shows the name of the company and it shows the price on the right hand side. So I'm gonna run this and the AI needs to identify what company this is, if the stock price is going up or down. And I'm gonna throw in one tricky question. When did the stock price see the most rapid drop? Which is kind of a vague question. I wanna see how it answers. So it says, the chart is for snow stock. The minimum stock price shown is 186. Yeah, pretty close. And the biggest drop in the stock price is $3.75. Huh. So I thought that this was gonna be a lot harder and I was gonna make a joke about how the AI would need a lot of work, but it seems to have just gotten it off the bat. Like, what the heck? That was like way too easy to do. This guy had no clue what was in store for him. First, I needed to find an easier way to get stock chart images than just screenshotting them from Google. After a few hours testing out different sites, I ended up finding a site that had an unsecured URL with parameters I could just adjust in my code. So I took that. I loaded up my Robinhood account with $1,000 for the AI to invest. I then had to start setting up the wireframe and importing all the packages that I would be using in my actual code. And with an AI that can read stock charts and all the stock charts I could want at my fingertips, I was ready to go and start making infinite money. But wait, 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 wait. What am I doing with all these charts? There's a whole world of day traders that just trade using the numbers. So why don't I just do that? Well, firstly, because it's more fun. And secondly, I don't plan to read any numbers off the charts. I just plan to look at patterns in the image to see if the stock is gonna go up. And based on my internet research, I should be able to make thousands without knowing any advanced mathematics like entry-level calculus. Buy, so, buy. So. But after researching for the better part of two days, watching every day trading and pattern trading video I could find, I realized there might be a flaw in my plan. Even if this algorithm makes money, it doesn't necessarily mean anything because anyone who invests long enough in the market will make money. So we need to raise the competition. So while my bot is trading this week, I'm going to be comparing its performance to my hand-picked portfolio of stocks that I assembled using fundamental analysis. You know, the long, boring process of figuring out what a company actually does 
and if they'll be worth more in the future than they are today. Let's see who wins, the tried and true investing method of people like Warren Buffett or the most powerful AI ever known to man. But first, I need to actually build the bot. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be easy. So coding a stock trading bot takes a lot of, you know, code. And since showing code is like YouTube kryptonite, I put together a whiteboard presentation to explain in three easy steps exactly how I'm going to do this. And I also got a bigger whiteboard so I don't have to keep on crouching down. Step one, I need to pick stock chart patterns that the AI can recognize that will reliably make me money. Picking which stock patterns I would use only took me around half a day because I was watching this over an hour long video and reading all these different articles. And I ended up finding this guy's chart on LinkedIn that basically simplified down to 16 different stock chart patterns that I could look for. So I found the patterns that I want to use. Now I just need to teach the AI to recognize these patterns reliably. And to make it simple, I'm just going to focus on six of the patterns in this chart that look the most visually distinct from a distance. Because honestly, when it comes to training an AI, it's like trying to train a half-blind three-year-old. Hey, how should I teach the AI to learn stocks? The why do you want to make an AI? Well, I want to trade stocks. The why do you want to trade stocks? To get hood rich like all the big traders I see online. The why do you want to be rich? I don't know, maybe it's a deep-seated insecurity for my childhood and I feel like I need to make more to try to live up to expectations that were set when I was younger that I'm never going to be able to reach. The why Step two, I need to teach the AI to recognize the patterns and then make stock trades based on them. Basically, this is just the process of building the bot and getting it to do everything that I want it to do. Luckily, I had no issues getting this to work. This doesn't make any sense. 280, how do you know there's a bumblebee in the photo? There's a whole different API that does the exact same thing. Okay, so it wasn't so easy. It took around a week. Now, I already had the AI able to read a stock chart, but now I needed to get it to recognize these patterns. I set up a Jupyter notebook just to test this out. Success, I can talk to the AI. Now I just need to get it to recognize a stock chart. Okay, the model's behaving really weirdly right now. Basically, I'm giving it the exact same image in the Google Maker Suite as I am in my code, and yet the code is giving totally different answers. Like here, for example, it says the stock price is decreasing from the start of the chart to the end, but it's clearly going up. But it also gets some things right. Like it says the stock chart starts at 9.30. But the answers I'm getting don't match up at all with what the stock chart looks like. I don't really know what's going on, so I'm probably gonna sign up for like a course or tutorial and try to figure this out. My camera turned off, it was going so long. Back to it. So I think I figured out the issue with my code. The issue is the model isn't actually getting the image, it's just trying to understand what the image would show from the URL, which is why it's giving me such random results. Basically, I was trying to give an image to the AI and I thought I could just give it a link to the image, but it turned out the AI was trying to read the text in the link and guess the answer to my question instead of actually looking at the image. So now I just need to teach the AI to actually recognize the patterns. And I'm gonna do this with two techniques, few shot prompting and classification. And I'm not gonna bore you with the specifics on how I do that, but the point is I need to find examples of these six patterns that I can show to the AI so that it knows what to look for. So I could show this whole process Process, or I could just use the power of editing to skip to when it's done. It's been three days. I feel like I lost some of my soul somewhere in the code. I don't know why I thought this would just work, but it took me hours just to find examples of each stock chart pattern. And then I ran into issues storing that many images. Then more issues with the prompt being too long for the model to process. Ultimately, I managed to get all the examples in place and run it against a real stock chart. So I think I have everything set up successfully. So now I'm just gonna run it and see if it's able to recognize this pattern. And yes, I am recording this on vacation because this thing takes forever to get to work. Let's see. Bullish flag, that's right. It got this one right. So it seems like it's kind of working, but it keeps saying there's a bullish flag even sometimes when there isn't one. So there's still clearly something I need to change. Nothing a few hours of research and some chain of thought prompting couldn't fix. I'm telling you, AI is a three-year-old. You literally say, think through this step-by-step. Step. First, you have a stock chart. Then you read the pattern in the chart. It's crazy. How could this ever be a real investor who
Oh, it worked. All right, so now's the time to tell you there are basically two buckets of patterns, continuations and reversals. A continuation just means the stock price will keep going in the direction that it was before, and a reversal means it will flip. So a bullish continuation means the stock price is going up and we expect it to keep on going up. Meanwhile, a bullish reversal means the stock price was going down, we expect it to flip and start going up. And each of the six patterns I showed before fall into one of these two buckets. So now I just need to put those parts together and I should be able to tell if a stock price will go up or down just by looking at its price. While all this was happening, I was hard at work building my hand-picked mm. stock portfolio. I've already researched all the stocks, so I didn't really have to do anything. I only make like one or two trades a month, which you can see on FinTech Circle. This is my private stock group that's basically like Patreon, but actually valuable. And even though I don't make a lot of trades, when I do, I always post them on there first. So I got back to work on the bot. After fixing a few last bugs, my script started working. And since my hand-picked stock portfolio was set, I was ready for step three, profit. Or to be more accurate, we'll let the algorithm run for one week and compare how much money it makes versus $1,000 invested in my hand-picked stock portfolio. So here are the ground rules. I decided to let the AI pick between 10 different stocks to make sure it didn't just pick anything. And I'm going to let it run for one week and see how much money it makes compared to the 10 stocks I can pick that I think will do the best over the next week. Let's see who wins. All the power of Google and the latest technological advances in AI or one guy following some old fashioned investing advice. It's Monday morning, day one, and I'm gonna get my first set of stock recommendations from my stock bot. I've got the Robinhood app open, and let's see what stocks it recommends for me to buy today. So first, let me run this for Tesla. It says this is a bullish flag, and since a bullish flag is a continuation pattern, that means the AI thinks the stock price is going to continue to go up. So let's go ahead and buy some Tesla. I'm also running this around midday on Monday, and let's see what it predicts for the rest of the day. Let's do the next one. Here's Nvidia's stock price. Bullish flag, also recommends Nvidia. Here's an interesting one. This stock's actually going down. Bearish wedge is a continuation pattern, so it thinks Apple will keep going down today. Let's try Microsoft. It says it's a bullish flag. Okay, so Microsoft's a yes. Let's try Meta. Meta is a bullish flag. Let's try ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is a bullish flag despite being down for the day. Okay. Okay, let's do Walmart. Bearish. Bullish. Bearish wedge double top, which means we do not want to invest in Disney at this time. So my $1,000, 350 of that is now actively trading. So now the most advanced AI in the world has access over $350 worth of my portfolio. That money's in the market. Let's check back in tonight. Now it's time to compare how my stock bot has done against my portfolio in day one. The end of day one finished strong for Team Human. My hand-picked stock portfolio was up 2.96%, or just under $30, while the bot was up $3. Seems like an early win? Well, I was getting lucky. One of my stocks increased 20% after reporting they were profitable for the first time. So the bot has a chance to catch up on day two. My Robinhood account's up to $109. I didn't end up selling any of the stocks overnight like I know a lot of day traders do because I only do what the bot tells me to do and it didn't tell me to sell. So let's check now what stocks I'm supposed to buy on day two. On day two, the bot changed up its strategy of buying everything and got a little more creative. It started out hot out of the gates, deciding to sell GE right before GE stock price went up. Then the bot broke for a few hours, so I lost around half the day debugging code. But ultimately, the bot picked five out of the 10 stocks to buy, sold four of the stocks, and left Ford as it was. Meanwhile, I didn't make any trades in my hand-picked stock portfolio since there wasn't any news on the companies. Here were the totals at the end of day two. Day three, I made my first trade in my hand-picked stock portfolio, buying shares in the Brazilian fintech stock Nubank. Meanwhile, over the next few days, the bot was starting to make some pretty confusing moves. Buying a stock, then selling it, then buying more of it. It looked random, but somehow the bot was catching up. Day four came and went, and I was neck and neck with the bot going into the final day. As as long as nothing crazy happened, it seemed like the bot wouldn't be able to beat me by too much. On day five, I put in the bot's final trades and waited to see what would happen. So I originally started this challenge with the idea that I could make some fast money using the bot. And it kind of worked. If we add up the earnings of the bot over the past five days, it made $62.76 in total. While my hand-picked stock portfolio ended up being up $6.78 during the last week. So I guess the bot technically won. But also while I've been editing this video over the past week, I tried to keep investing using the bot, but it was always in the back of my mind. Did the stock price go up by $1? Did it drop by 2%? Honestly, I'd rather have the peace of mind of not having to trade every day than to keep on 
on making a few dollars using the stock trading bot. I wonder how much money I spent running the bot anyway. Let's see how much money I paid to Google Gemini just to run this AI. Well, if you liked this video, maybe you'll like this next one. And let me know in the comments if you want to see a sequel. I think I know how to make this a lot better.